1964, Japan shocked the world when it launched the Shinkansen bullet train between Tokyo and Osaka. A sleek train running at over 300 kilometers per hour, transforming travel and setting a new global standard. For decades, countries across the world, from France to China, followed Japan's lead. And now, it's India's turn. After the Mumbai Ahmedabad corridor, India's next high-speed revolution is heading straight into the heart of South India with the chennai bengaluru Mysuru bullet train. This is not just another railway line. It's a 463-kilometer-long engineering marvel connecting the three powerhouse cities of South India. At present, the fastest train between Mysuru and Chennai, the Vande Bharat Express, takes around 6 hours and 30 minutes. But with the bullet train, the journey will take just 2 hours and 25 minutes. That's shorter than the time you'd spend in airports for check-in and security. The train will run at a maximum speed of 350 km per hour, with an operational speed of 320 km per hour, on par with Japan's iconic E5 Shinkansen series. The corridor will feature nine ultra-modern stations, Chennai, Poonamalli, Arakanam, Chittor, Bangarapet, Chanapatna, Mandya, and finally, Misuru. The alignment will pass along the new Bengaluru-Chennai Expressway, and here's the exciting part. It will also run close to the upcoming Parandur International Airport in Chennai, making it a game-changer for air connectivity as well. This mega-project will include stretches that are elevated, underground, and at ground level, combining multiple technologies to overcome the challenges of terrain and urban density. For decades, people travelling between Chennai and Bengaluru relied heavily on air travel. Short flights, long delays, airport transfers, the routine has always been exhausting. But once the bullet train begins, it will directly compete with airlines. Why? Because while a flight may take 50 minutes in the air, the total travel time from home to airport, check-in, security, boarding, baggage and airport transfers makes it at least three to four hours. The bullet train, on the other hand, will connect city centre to city centre in just over two hours. Faster, smoother and greener. But this isn't just about saving time. The chennai bengaluru Misuru corridor is one of India's busiest and most industrialised belts. It's home to IT parks, manufacturing hubs, SEZs and technology corridors. With high-speed rail, companies will expand operations, employees can commute easily and businesses will flourish. The project is also expected to skyrocket real estate growth along the corridor. From Poonamalli in Chennai to Mandya in Karnataka, new townships, housing projects and commercial spaces will rise. Property prices, rental demand and investment opportunities will shoot up. Even the logistics sector will benefit. Faster connectivity to industrial zones and ports will save both time and cost. And then comes tourism. Imagine visiting Masuru's royal palaces in the morning, working in Bengaluru's tech hub by afternoon, and dining on Marina Beach in Chennai by night. This is not science fiction. It's the real future that this project is creating. The corridor will unlock cultural tourism, boost hospitality, and bring the three cities closer than ever before. Land surveys are underway. The NHSRCL has already begun aerial mapping, alignment studies and utility identification. Land acquisition has started across villages in Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka. The project is massive, involving hundreds of farmers, dozens of townships and multiple state governments. The current target for full operation is 2051, but depending on the progress of the Mumbai Ahmedabad bullet train, this timeline could be advanced. From Tokyo to Osaka, bullet trains changed how Japan lived, worked and grew. Now South India is on the brink of the same transformation. The Chennai Bengaluru Mysuru bullet train is not just about cutting down travel time. It's about connecting economies, cultures and people. It's about reducing air pollution, boosting development and creating a new growth story for the South. India's high-speed revolution has just begun, and very soon the whistle of the bullet train will echo across South India.